Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, you need to find the volume and the surface area of this figure below, which is a composite shape. We notice here we have a cylinder, and on top of the cylinder we have half of a sphere. For that reason, we're going to use these formulas you see down here. And we notice the first thing we need to find out is the radius. And how do we find the radius? Let's take a look here. This then is the diameter of the base of the cylinder. That base is a circle, obviously, and the radius will be half of that diameter. And obviously, that will be 5. The radius of the base of the cylinder, the circle, is 5. And that will be the radius also for the sphere. So now we can move and we want to find the volume of the cylinder. And if you notice, the volume of the cylinder is right here. It's pi r square h. So in this case, we're going to have pi times 5 square times h, which is 9. Right? It is 9 here. So we're going to end up with pi times 25 times 9. And the final answer here for the volume of this cylinder is 225 pi. Let's go now to the volume of a sphere. And we notice the formula right here. And that will be 4 over 3 pi r cube. And we're going to replace r with 5. 5 cube. And that will be... 5 cube is 125. And now we're going to multiply this 125 by 4, and that will be 500, 500 pi over 3. This is the volume of the sphere, but as you notice, this shape here is not a whole sphere, it's just half. It's a hemisphere. So the volume of that uh, hemisphere will be 1 half times. 500 pi over 3 and here we can simplify like this and we end up with 250 250 pi over 3 so now we can find the volume of this composite shape because we're going to add the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the hemisphere and that will be, in our case, 225 pi plus 250 pi over 3. And if you want to simplify this answer, you can do the common denominator of 3. And 225 is nothing else than 675 over 3. And then we have the same denominator of 3. So obviously we finish this part. The volume of this composite shape will be 675 plus 250. And that is 925 pi over 3 cubic units. And now we can move to the second part where we're going to find the surface area of this composite shape. For that reason, we're going to use these two formula. In fact, parts of it. And I'm going to start with the cylinder. As you notice, the bottom of this composite shape is a cylinder. And part of this surface area of this composite shape will be the lateral area of the cylinder, which is given by this guy here, 2 pi r h. So I'm going to replace the radius, which is 5, and the height, which is 9, and I end up with 2 times 5, 10 times 9, 9 90, 90 pi. This is the lateral area of, of the cylinder. Also, in this surface area of this composite shape, we're going to have the base. So this base and, like I said, the lateral area. 
and that will be pi r square okay, and the base of the cylinder if you want to call it like that and we're going to have here pi times the radius square which is 5 5 square so that will be 25 pi okay so these are two pieces of the surface area of this composite shape and we have the last one which is this hemisphere the thing that cover half of a sphere so what am i going to do first i'm going to find the surface area of the sphere by using this formula you see here 4 pi r square and the radius remember is the same 5 And that will be 4 pi times 25, right? Because 5 squared is 25, and that will be 100 pi. But like I said, we need only half of that. The surface area, let me call like that, of the hemisphere will be half of this uh, 100 pi. And that will be just 50 pi. So now the surface area of this composite shape is like I said the lateral area of the cylinder what goes around the cylinder plus one base by the base of the cylinder plus the surface area of the hemisphere so just these three guys in it so I'm gonna have 90 pi plus 25 pi and plus 50 pi so now we're going to get the final answer 165 pi square units is the surface area of this composite shape if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you